Make your life right today. Be prepared. Like that little battery, you know, ever ready battery too, you know? <laughs> Everyone who hears her story loves Barbie. When we met Barbie in 2015, she was living happily in a little camp on the edge of Palm Island in Queensland, Australia. She was once an alcoholic living rough in the shadows, but you'd never know it. She's full of joy, with a warm smile and a contagious laugh, sharing humble, honest wisdom and words of true encouragement. Her story has touched many tens of thousands of people across the globe. Barbie says that it was knowing Jesus that changed her. He showed me the truth, because he is the truth. And he showed me the way and the ways to him. Yeah. But for many people in Australia and elsewhere in the world, Jesus is at best a fairy tale. Maybe irrelevant, maybe even a cause of offence. Yet there are so many people everywhere with a powerful real story whose lives have been forever changed by knowing Jesus. How do you find and share those stories? People like Barbie who have experienced God's love, put their trust in Jesus and are living in real freedom. A small team of us gathered around this idea, took a leap of faith and set out on a few big trips to gather these stories from the heart of Australia. We edited them into 40 short films, called them 40 stories, and we shared them wherever we could. Not only did we find beautiful stories of transformation, but Jesus led us on some wild adventures where he proved himself able to do more than we could ever dare to ask or imagine. In Townsville, despite knowing nothing about the storyteller Wes, Jesus led us to a particular stand of beautiful trees for his interview. And when Wes arrived, he asked us, why'd you set up here? Well, we told him why. And he laughed in amazement and said, these trees, this group of trees are my special place in all of Townsville since I was a young boy. I've even scratched my name in these tree trunks back then. We went to a small town in northern New South Wales to film Alf and Irene, who kept telling us we really should be filming their dear old friend and their pastor, Bruce Walker. But we didn't know him. He lived in the next town. He's 86 years old. But right as we were packing the car to go and film them, Bruce Walker happened to drive along their little back road and he ended up sharing his story too. And at one point in filming, I said to Bruce, this is fantastic, Uncle Bruce. You're speaking like a prophet over our nation. He shook his head amazed and told us that 50 years ago, a fellow visiting his town had said to him, Bruce, I think God's saying that one day you're going to speak like a prophet over the nation. And Uncle Bruce, through tears, said to us, I've been waiting 50 years for today. Everywhere we went, Jesus had already prepared the way like that, introducing us to people we didn't know existed, revealing powerful stories of transformation that ended up impacting thousands of people. And the ripples from those stories are still going out into the world. But those first 40 stories of Aboriginal brothers and sisters was just a beginning. There are so many more stories to tell. Now, 40 Stories is in a new phase, finding and sharing stories from many nations around the world, wherever Jesus leads us. And he's telling us to give this good news away by every means we can. Just like with Barbie, there are stories everywhere that Jesus is writing. Maybe you can help us share this good news, the story of Jesus in people's lives.